Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today's one's going to be about producing a tabletop for outdoor furniture. So it's a pretty simple glue up method that I've been using successfully on outdoor furniture that I've made over the last few years. And so far it's held up pretty well. Um, I suppose the first thing that I want to say in this video is that there are a lot of other videos that show this on YouTube and a lot of those videos, they actually use a lot of fancy tools such as table saws, things like biscuit chointers and those types of equipment. In my case, I'm just going to show you how to do it using a basic set of these sash clamps. And really, it's a, it's a lot simpler than a lot of the other methods that are out on YouTube there. And the idea being that, um, you know, even though we haven't squared up the timber completely here, is that we just add extra glue to fill in the gaps to make up for that. So the sash clamps that I have, they're just pretty basic. They just have a sliding jaw and then a pin that stops the jaw from sliding any further. So you can set these to whatever size you need to for whatever tabletop you are making and you can add pieces on as you go along if you want to do it in that method. So these sash clamps also have a jaw towards the front as well with a screw. So you can use that screw then to tighten and uh, compress the timber as, um, as you're sort of putting this together. So here you can just see that I'm sliding the two jaws at the back uh, to make more space to allow us to add another piece of timber to this setup. In this setup I've already glued three pieces together and I'm just going to do it progressively and show you guys the addition of one more piece of timber into that. So I'm just increasing the size of that gap now by undoing the jaws at the front. I'm just using the two screws and loosening those off. And that will allow me to get just enough gap to be able to slide that new board in along with the rest of the timber. So the first thing I want to go to, going to want to do here is just inspect both sides of the timber and generally just look for any bad cracks or damage. Now, as you can see, in this side of the timber, there's quite a big divot, a quite a big um, dent in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to face that side of that board down, and that means that we don't have to fill it later on. So the first task that we're going to have to do here is just to apply a bead of glue to the uh, edge of that board. And I'm using a tried and tested product here that I've been using for years, which is the Evo Stick Weatherproof Wood Glue. I've been using this for a long time and have found it to be really useful. It never really uh, gives me any trouble. And the first thing we're going to do here is we're just going to take a plastic cutlery knife as our spreader and we're going to apply a bead to that edge. So these bottles actually come with a red plastic cap and a small nozzle to allow you to spread the glue. But what I found is that over time that tends to get clogged with glue and then the easiest thing to do is just to take that, that cap completely off and just to pour it straight out of the bottle like I'm doing here. So I just need to come along now with the knife and just to, to spread out that glue a little bit more evenly. And the idea is that here that you don't want to be able to see the timber at all. You want to have a nice smooth um, surface of glue on top of the timber to make sure that we get a nice uh, clean contact in with the other piece of timber. So as you can see, I'm just spreading that out. And um, I guess the, the main thing to, to note here is that you can see that I'm using quite a lot of glue and it is, it's really important that you do use plenty of glue during this uh, type of glue up. I've had one failure throughout all the time that I have been doing this method. The one time that I did have a failure was when I was starting out and didn't really understand how much glue was needed and applied only a very thin layer. And I realised my mistake, the joint failed, and then after that I've, I've applied quite a thick layer of glue to each of these joints and then have had no issues there uh, since then. So next up then we do the same with the other mating surface. So in this type of glue up, it's best just to apply glue to both surfaces as shown here. So I'm going to do the same thing again, I'm just going to apply a bead of glue like this. And in this particular glue up, I've actually got a better and more regular bead along the length of the timber which is ideally what you want it'll make the spreading out of the glue a lot easier and that you won't have to do as much spreading of the glue around so one thing to note here as well is that this is this is actually really simple to do i mean if you can it's really just a bit like putting butter on toast or adding some jam to bread or something like that it's really just a case of applying a nice thin uniform layer to the timber
So now I'll just offer the two pieces of timber up to each other and just introduce them to each other and try and align the piece of wood within the sash clamps. So as you'll see there's a bead starting to form there already between both pieces of timber and what I'll do next is I'll actually do the first clamp of the, the boards here. So the first clamp that you do you'd want it to be fairly light clamp because the idea here is that not that you really compress all the boards together. The idea is that you just apply enough pressure to maintain a bead of glue between both boards and to allow it to set. So if you really tighten down too much at this point during the glue up it'll force all of the glue out and you will not get a good glue up. This is what you want the bead to look like. You want it to be a nice continuous white line in between both boards meaning that there's plenty of glue in there. And then after a little while, maybe after a few minutes, you can um, come along that surface with an old credit card or a loyalty card just to scrape the excess glue off the top. The next task that we have to do here is an optional one, but I do find it's worthwhile doing this, is the use of a pair of clamps to try and clamp down the board to the existing timber. And as you can see, I have uh, something here called an F-clamp that I got from our local hardware store. These can be had pretty cheaply and they're really useful for doing various tasks, particularly with woodwork. And the idea here is that you clamp down the board to the other boards beside it. And it means that you get a nice flat surface when the glue up is complete. If you don't do this step, there is a little bit of a risk that the, you might get a little bit of a bowing in the tabletop. But the other thing that you can do to counteract that if you don't have a set of clamps is you can just put a heavy weight across the top of the tabletop. And that also has the same effect by just keeping the surface nice and level on top. So you'll also see here that I'm using a piece of plastic between the sacrificial piece of wood and the tabletop below. And that's just to stop the glue from... Um, sticking to the sacrificial piece of timber that's used to stop the um, the clamp from marking the actual tabletop itself. So this is what the bead should look like after that first compression and then after about 15 or 20 minutes you'll want to compress the joint slightly more to drive out any of the remaining pockets of glue and it should end up looking like this. And this kind of setup will give you a nice strong joint between both pieces of timber. So this method is pretty useful, as I've said, for making all sorts of shapes and sizes of tabletops. You can cut out whatever shape you want and you can round over the edges and do some nice stuff like that. As always guys, if you thought that this video was useful, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. And consider checking out some of the other videos on my channel. Please drop me a comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video and if you're working on any projects yourself. And thanks for watching.